back to my channel, it's your girl Selamar. I post at home workouts and healthy lifestyle tips weekly, so don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell on so you never miss a video. So today we're gonna be doing a dumbbell booty workout. Make sure you warm up, stretch, cool activation, all that. I have videos linked down below. If you need any routines, I got you, okay? So let's just get into the workout. Your lips, they taste like cherry wine. So the first exercise is a dumbbell pull through. So we're gonna hold, you can either hold it like this, because we're gonna have two. You're gonna hold it like this, and you're gonna kinda just pull through. So you're not gonna wanna overextend your, your hips where you're kinda like thrusting all the way. You're gonna wanna have your feet far apart like this. Hold the dumbbell, back straight, neck straight, very neutral, spine is very neutral, and you're gonna kind of like lean forward Hinge at the hips, and then you're gonna go up, keeping the tension in the glutes the whole time. And you're kind of just gonna do a swing motion, but make sure you're doing it slow enough that it's controlled. You feel your glutes with every move, and it's gonna be like this. You don't want your the dumbbell to swing up too much, because you can overextend your back, and you don't want to go too far down where you're bending your back. Please do not bend your back; it's really bad for you. Now we're gonna be doing dumbbell sumo squats. So same thing, you're gonna wanna hold the dumbbell, both of them like this, or if you only have one dumbbell, you can hold it sideways like this. You're gonna want your feet apart, toes pointed out, spine neutral, neck neutral, looking straight out. Don't overbend and don't um, look up to the sky, okay? Abs engaged, and you're gonna wanna go down. Knees should be facing in the same direction as your toes. So you're gonna go down and you're gonna pulse, keeping the glutes tension. You want to use your mind's muscle connection and keep your glutes under tension the entire time you're pulsing. Again, if you only have one dumbbell, you are going to hold it goblet squat style. Feet shoulder width apart, toes pointed outward, and you're going to want to go down. Elbows touch your knees, core engaged, and you're going to want to come up. As you see, I'm not squeezing my glutes. If you have two dumbbells, you're just going to grab both dumbbells like this, have it lay on your shoulder, and you're just going to squat down like that. Okay? Next is kneeling squats. If you only have one dumbbell, you're going to hold the dumbbell on your back. Don't lay it on your neck. Kind of lay it like on your shoulders, but make sure your thumbs are under the dumbbell for support. And you're going to want to go down. Remember, mind some muscle connection. Really squeeze those glutes, but don't over squeeze. You want to keep the tension. Now, keep the tension. I really only recommend doing it with one, but if you have two, same way like this if we did the squats, and you're gonna go up and down. Same thing, alternating back lunges. Squat down, you want to use good form to pick up your weight. Don't bend your back, or curve your back. So we're gonna start from the front, neck is neutral, and you're gonna to wanna to lunge your back. Lunge back, and alternate. Make sure you're good, using good form, Next we have goblet squat, which is very similar to the dumbbell. Regular squat, you're just gonna wanna hold it like this. Same thing with the goblet squat. All right guys, and now we're going to do RDLs, which is basically just Russian deadlifts. You're gonna wanna start with your feet kind of shoulder width apart, toes slightly pointed outward, and then you're gonna have your spine neutral, neck neutral, and then you're gonna to wanna to hold your dumbbells kind of like this. Now we're gonna start hinging at the hips. Feel like a, like a string is pulling you down from your hips. And you're gonna go, do not over squeeze, keep the tension. You're gonna to wanna to go down to the middle of your shin. Now we're gonna do sumo deadlift. So personally, I'm gonna do this with one dumbbell. You're gonna to wanna to hold the dumbbell horizontal, parallel to the floor. You run on your feet apart. And you're gonna wanna squat down. Squat, come on. I see a lot of people doing sumo squats where it's kind of like this. Do not do that. Just because your feet are far apart does not mean it's a sumo squat. Make sure your toes are pointed outward and your knees are driving out with your sumo. Two more exercises. Next one, we're gonna have a dumbbell glute bridge. You're gonna wanna grab the dumbbell, shoulder width apart, and now make sure your core is engaged and your back is flat on the floor. And you're gonna, gonna go up, really squeeze those glutes, and come down. Notice how my back is neutral. My back is coming.
anything to touch the floor mat. All right, guys, exercise we have. This is the final and last exercise. We're gonna do dumbbell kettlebell swing. Your hands are gonna be very sweaty, so I recommend doing it like this. Your feet are gonna be not sumo stance, but not squat stance. It's gonna be like in the middle. It's kind of like the first exercise we did. The pull through, you're gonna go down, and then you're gonna swing up. This is gonna involve some arm exercise. Make sure you're not using the momentum of the movement. Like, don't just swing. Make sure it's very slow and controlled, like this. And this one, you're gonna definitely be squeezing your glutes just because you don't want to bend your back. So that was all the exercises. We're about to get into the workout. Just 
to myself We never seem to know 